Howdy campers, and welcome to Camp Wanakiki Season 5 Recap and Rec Room. It's Day 7 and Episode 7 at Camp Wanakiki. Cherry and Betty are jugs deep in jugs, plastic ones, and they don't know what to do. International drag superstar Blue Hydrangea pops in, but can't offer any advice until the bills have been paid. How rude! The campers get busy in the arts and crafts cabin, turning the used jugs into planters. Aren't they adorable? But there's even more recyclables than just plastic jugs. So Ruthie calls in the hikers to help make outfits for the talent show. Including one surprise hiker who's been out in the woods a very long time. Raining camp champ Clinica DePrecious joins us to help judge this trash couture. Tara Newhall and Dixie Crystal. I got a peek around the. Yeah. There we are. What's going on? <laughs> Basically, I really didn't take a shower, so I just thought, why not go ahead and do that tonight? For, so, you know, save you guys the trouble. Hello. Miss Texas 1988 Hi. and Dee Dee Comswell, welcome back to camp. Thank you. Thank you. It's Hello. so nice to see you now. This, I have to say, a pleated skirt is pretty impressive in this time. Thank you. Hello. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi, Pink. Love your work. Hi. <laughs> Riley! Oh, hi! Hello, Riley! Do you mind if I give you a hug? Sure, I have a pain on me, so you can hug me. Oh, oh, you're presenting me your pants. I don't know you like that. Oh, so who are you again? Hi. Hi. So now, how exactly do you two know each other? So we're both from the same city, and okay. I actually knew Clinico when they first started. Hi! Oh. Hello, hello, Rita and Vivian. Is this bringing back memories? Walking in, it was definitely a, an interesting day to arrive on scene, uh, considering how season three went for the Crafty Beaver Challenge. La 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 uh, la 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 la. Two years, get over it! <laughs> <laughs> There's more than badges at stake at tonight's talent show. Did the sugar baker say a hiker is coming back to the competition? Oh my, that is a twist. So let's go backstage and join our campers and hikers in the rec room while the judges deliberate. We are back in the rec room yes. after hiking for a little bit. I spend more than a little bit since. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little strange to be here in the rec room, but I am so happy that we got to come back today and like help our friends and now our new family in this competition. Nice. I don't know how y'all's duo was working together, that was but so much fun. I just made myself an available set of hands for whatever Riley wanted. Yeah, yes. yes. very that. Yeah. With Muffy, it was very much like, I was just like, okay, game mode, what do I need to do? What can I do to help you? Like, she gave me the like, patterns and everything and just like, patterns. Yeah. Patterns. <laughs> like you said, just happy to be a a pair of hands to help in any way I could. It was cool to see everyone kind of get their hands a little dirty. Oh today. yeah, I had so much fun. It was fun to like use the other side of my brain for once. Yeah. You talked about it's been a while since you've been in the record. It's been uh, two years since I've been in the record. Oh, <laughs> so this is quite interesting. It's so nice to meet all of you. Uh, yeah, it's so nice to work with all of you I today. Know. My bus gets to come back and compete towards the end of this competition yeah. and give all yeah, of us hands not. a run for their money. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say I didn't see that coming. No. Like it was it was something that it's like, you know, when we get down to the final five, it's like, okay, obviously the next choice is to move on to four, three, yeah. two, and one. Mm -hmm. But it makes me excited that someone gets to come back. But they did say that one of the campers is going home. Right. Yeah. So, so it's, it's like, like a swift train. swap. Oh. Are we ready? Like, are we ready? to come back in, each one of us. Any apprehensions? I've had a lot of time on my hands lately, so. Yes! Even if it's just, it's just for one fucking challenge. <laughs> As someone who has been on a former season and has watched all the seasons, this is the strongest Crafty Beaver challenge we've ever had on the show. I was gonna say it. I was pretty was impressed saying. looking around because there was, there honestly is no bad look. No. 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 Vanderbilt the third. What I want to do being on this show is to show all the big girls up there, that they can also look patterned and pristine. Was the pattern something that you had or something um, that so you made? So I kind of knew coming into camp that we'd be doing something like this, so it's something that I, I pre-thought about for sure. But did you make the pattern at home or did you make it here in the I classroom? I made it here. I came to camp. On my way here, I made it. Oh, but not today? Not today. 
Okay. Do you think that provided like an unfair advantage to you I don't versus think so. the other campers? It personally doesn't bother me. Have you been carrying it with you all of camp? Yeah, it's been in my backpack the whole time. It's weird because part of me is like, she studied the show and she was playing the game. Um, another part of me is like, some of us aren't, they don't have those kind of things on hand, so they're just kind of guessing. I also agree that I think Muffy's a genius and studied the show and, mm -hmm. and, and, and planned correctly. And part of me is like, I wish I would've thought of that. And part of me is like, I don't know if that fits into the parameters of a crafting challenge. First and foremost, you're going to be judged on the looks that you presented today. Any other factors will be weighed in as well. We'll discuss them. We have a lot to think about and a lot to discuss, so why don't you wait in the rec room while we deliberate? Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Definitely one of the hardest talent shows and definitely one of the hardest deliberations afterwards. They asked me a question how I felt. I said it didn't affect me that you used it but I could see how, in their eyes, it would be something. It's not my decision, I'm not the judges. Did, did anyone come into the room thinking it was unfair before they asked it, that it was a question? I did, and I said that. Part of me did think it was slightly unfair, but at the same time, I was like, you're using your brain. No. We were told that right. anything in their DDF, we were allowed to use. They did say that. So, mm -hmm. like, safety pins, lipstick, like, what makes a pattern any different? It's just something that was thrown in the bag. Safety pins and lipsticks are both things that you use to get ready, though. Those aren't things that, like... Safety pins isn't use. something I use to get ready. It's something I use to, to fix a moment. I will say that I do agree with Rita on that part. It, did, I, 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 it feels a bit of a breach. I do think it is, like, trying to find a loophole. And, and I mean, I don't find it funny loophole because I was transparent about it. It wasn't a secret. It you, wasn't... you were transparent with us, but I think right. if you would have just asked the sugar bakers, none of this would have happened. Well, I asked originally when we were first cast, is everything we bring stuff we can have? But once again, every, they didn't know that you were going to have a whole sure. pattern. And I mean, that. it wasn't something I initially, initially planned either. Right. I mean, like, I, like... I also brought stones and stuff in my bag, and I was unable to use it because I asked them and they told me no. I think they know that it's a gray area for them too. Mm -hmm. And so it's ultimately going to come down to what they they think for the show. Sure. And they'll probably clarify it for future seasons more. Right. Yeah. Correct. Uh, and, and I hate this because I know that we've had our issues and I don't want to make it personal at all. I would have this whole thing with any of us up here mm -hmm. because it's not personal at all. I need you to know that. It's really, really, really not. Because like, over the last couple of days, I really have fallen in love with you and your character and it's not that way at all. And I don't want it to come across like I'm pissed at you or anything because I genuinely like this look and like, and I've, saying, I've been saying this my feeling about this to you all week. You know what I mean? And so I just, I would have said this to anybody and I just hope don't want it to think that I hate my feet because that's not it at all. Right. Mm -hmm. I just wish that if anyone thought it was a problem and I was doing it, they would have been like, mm, don't do it because nobody said anything to me. It's because they thought you were playing the game. And I've been that's saying awesome. things all sure, week. Sure, sure. I've like, been saying things all week. You still could have said, I really don't like that you're doing that. I did. I said it was not fair. And you yeah. said, Rita, using the F word again. Well, I had fun making a little flower pot thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So who do you guys think is going to take my spot? We don't know that well, you know. Yeah, for, exactly. yeah, first of all, we don't know what's going to happen. I just think Betty seemed pretty upset, so... Ruthie did not seem very upset, but Betty seemed pretty upset. But they did say before we left that, first and foremost, we will be judging the looks. Mm -hmm. Sure. But she didn't like my look either, so... Oh, oh hi! Oh, hello! Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a bunch of whores! Uh, Miss Muffin, you're quiet. <laughs> they were upset that I used the pattern that was in my prep bag. Okay. And they asked everyone what they thought, um, which was hard. Yeah, and so what did everybody think? Um, I mean, some people surprised me with what they said, but some said what I thought they would. But like the thing is, is like you guys knew that Crafty Beaver was gonna be today. I saw people with glue guns in their, uh, which we weren't allowed to use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, yeah. we weren't yeah. allowed to use anything downstairs. from the cabin. They I wouldn't will let me go that to that use six thousand. They, they wouldn't let me use anything from the cabin. They okay. wouldn't use the right. It's the difference between a crafting challenge and a sewing challenge. They're two different things. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. My biggest thing was it saved you so much time. 
Like it I'd really see, didn't. You were, not, you had like a hole. You, everything was cut out, and I would still be really cutting the bubble around. It's not stretch, so it, we still had to add a ton of stuff to it to make it fit. This is not fabric. I will say that, like, yes, she had the like pattern and everything. I had to add like four different panels onto this skirt to make it fit her right. Uh, <laughs> I do just want to say, as someone who has been in y'all's shoes and has done this before, uh, this day, the Crafty Beaver Challenge, is by far the hardest day of all of camp. Yeah. Not just for the campers that are here, but for the, the hikers that come back and help out. So I want to wish a, a huge congratulations to all all nine of you for being here and doing this. And this is, this is the hardest day. Is there <laughs> any advice for us that you want? Share this well, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was so beyond words to be able to come here today and be back in this pressure cooker system because it brings me, it brings me personally so much inspiration. You guys don't understand how inspiring y'all are to artists that are out there and how creatively intelligent y'all are when you step on those stages and bring what you brought because you all, all ten of you are so different and so you know who you are and that's so inspiring for people to watch you don't you don't get it until you're till you're done and gone and things have aired you don't get it but it is so inspirational for the ten of y'all to be here doing what you're doing and i hope you realize that are we all missing avery yes. yeah yeah i miss yeah. my girlfriend yeah. I'm, I do. I'm honestly so proud of her, though, that she took the time to, like, really evaluate her health and everything, because Absolutely. that has to come first. Fortunate, one of y'all got real lucky, because that girl was going to be in the top. I, I was the one that got lucky. <laughs> 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 How do you guys feel, like, having one of us come back? Like, Ooh, uh, I love it. It gives you an opportunity to, like, show off more of your stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, the competitive part of me is like, oh, fuck. And then, but the other side of me is like, honestly, if I was in your face, I would just want to share my art as much as I possibly could. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm ecstatic that you guys get to have that opportunity. Yeah. Beaver side. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to pick a, a favorite because they look so different, but they both look so good. But since there's a lot at stake today, there can only be one winner. So congratulations, Miss Texas 1988. You have won today's challenge, and that means your partner, Dee Dee, comes Dee. Well. Hey, Dee Dee, why don't you join on stage? Well, you three campers have earned your Crafty Beaver badge. Why don't you all three wait backstage in the rec room for the badging ceremony? Thank you. Texas wine, so Dee Dee is coming back into the competition. Oh, oh my god, you're here! Oh. Oh, I feel so underdressed for the occasion. I'm so <laughs> Wait, sorry. you didn't make this out of bubble wrap? Yeah. You ready to see this? Yeah, they are ready to oh, see the yeah. too. Keep your head high, y'all. Love you. I feel over the moon. It's it's a wild mixed bag of emotions because on one hand, I am so honored to be back and that like I get to showcase more of my art and everything, but wow. on the other hand, uh, knowing that I'm taking the place of either Tara or mm. Muffy, who both are individually like their own fabulous artists, mm. uh, it's it's weird. Cause so personally, for me, I'm not quite sure who's gonna walk in because part of me is like they might go ahead and just be like, "Yo, get out of here." Um, but also, I do feel like Tara's look. We're gonna find out. Oh, oh. congratulations! Thank you. Yes. There's no better feeling than obviously being able to stay here and show art my camp and just prove myself. And I, I just feel like I was given that like golden moment right now. And like I just I'm so sad for Muffy that she will be missed. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. she will be missed. Her camp can't do attitude. Drag excellence. Campers return to the talent show stage for the badging ceremony. Um, right, here we go. All right, top five again. Top five, five, take two. To watch full episodes of Camp Wanakiki Season 5, be sure to subscribe to Out TV or Fruit TV in the UK. And if you want even s'more rec room, you can join our YouTube membership for the exclusive extended versions. Until next time, campers, keep amping up your camp.